Yo, what's up? It's Oxy. Today I'm going to show you how to use actors in IW4X to make cinematics. There's been videos of this over the years, but a lot of the software used is outdated. And the software being used now, all the videos for it aren't listed. So unless you have the link, you can't really view it. So it's holding a few people back. So to get into it, this is the homie who made the video. It's unlisted and all the links are in the description. I'm going to have the same links inside of mine. To start off, open up this click on IW4X if you don't have it already and it'll just show you how to install the game next um, some people say this version works better for doing the cinematics I use 7.4 and it works just fine for me but if you have any problems going through this and you're not on 6.1 just download it and retry it now we're gonna start off by downloading the cinematic mod just click source code and then downloads right there open it up and open up your game files Drag it over. What we're gonna do is if you don't have a mods folder, just right click, new folder, call it mods, open it up, and then open this, drag the cinematic mod inside of it, go back to IW4X, close it out. Um, this was made by SAS and he gave us um, some things to use for this, just commands and lists, uh, some pictures of what to do and how to do these things, what they look like. So that was really helpful on his part. Um, what you're going to need is Zone Builder. That's what this download is right here. Pretty much just going to allow you to be able to um, use these animations and models inside of your game. Open it up, drag it around again. Drag both of these inside of your game. And then you're able to close that once again. From here, what we're going to do is just right click on this and we're going to create a shortcut. Um, it's going to be called this. What we're going to do is just rename it. And then after IW4X, type EXE and then for shortcut make sure it's a lowercase s then after that just right click it go to properties after this type space dash zone builder and then apply okay and then from here just double click it open it and then once it gets to this you can just close out of it now we're going to make three folders um one of them is going to be called zone tool Next one's gonna be called zone underscore source. Last one's gonna be your dump folder. So dump. From here, what we're gonna do is go online and this is your uh, actor menu. So just download this. Once it's finished downloading, just open it up, open your game once again. And then from here, I usually just drag this outside of my in-game files. So just drag it right here. While you're at it, go over to the actor console, scroll all the way down and download it. Then the zip file. Once that's finished, just open that shit up too, open the game. And then drag this over here too, and now you can close both of these. So from here, just open your actor menu. And then select your model for two file directory. And then that's just wherever you've been putting all these files at. And then go inside the game right here. Select the folder, and now you have all of these. Um, the ones I recommend using are common FF and then um, ending FF. These are just fast files holding the game data and um, gives you some models and animations kind of depending on which one you choose. So once you get to the end, it'll say it's been dumped. Um, you just close out of it and then refresh and it's here with your uh, you have some casual crouch and a few animations. You don't have any like models in this, so this one is usually used for animations and then ending is used for models. Um, also, these are multiplayer animations and um, to do those, you just click on them, pre-cache and you know, get into it with that. Um, now we're gonna get the ending. If at the end you end up getting this error, it's okay. I always get it, but I still always end up with all the um, actors and uh, animations for it. So just refresh again, open ending, and A through Z, you still have all your shit. Now we're just going to choose a model for this. So let's just say um, body. And I guess we could just find one. Alright, so let's just go with Shadow Cold Assault and then go to head and just find the same one. So you can choose between like whatever head you want. You just kind of add however many of them you want in here. So for the animations, we go over to common and kind of figure out which one you want. Um, I guess I'll just use one of these casual stands. So like, let's say 
um, Twitch radio, and then let's use a uh, combat walk. So we have this walk, and then what we can also do is a death animation. Just go ahead, tumble back. Um, so from here, just click uh, load. Click IW4X Zone Builder, and then it's going to go through this. So then once it says this at the bottom, that's how you know you're good. Just close out of it, yes, and then from here, migrate over to this. So now you have your precast, so just click it, go into your game files, open your mods folder, and then as you can see, you don't have a mod fast file, so just click move mod. And it'll pop up over here but anytime you let's say delete these and want to use new ones um you put them in here then you just clear this cache and throw them back over and then before you move mod you have to delete this one and then you can press that at one again so from here just open up your game files and just right click this rename this to iw4m same thing for your shortcut just iw4m.exe Go to properties and do the same thing. Yo, it's Oxy. Um, quick side note, I messed up on these steps a little bit here. Um, while you're in actor menu, before you click IW4X Zone Builder, do this backwards, change the names of your game files to IW4M, then go back in and just choose IW4M Zone Builder, and then it'll just be a lot easier for you from now on. Just scroll all the way over to the EXE and just put M. Apply, okay. Then what I usually do is I make another copy of this or a shortcut and then I change the name to actors mod or whatever you want to call it. This is just so that whenever you open the game it just opens straight to your mod and it's, it's kind of cool. Go to the end and then we're going to type space plus seta fs underscore game then whatever your mods folder name is and then slash whatever you named your cinematic folder to and that and then apply okay so now that whenever you do open the game it'll just open straight to it so from here once we're in the game just choose map and then like let's say terminal start dev map also if you see the reshade at the top um, I'll show you all how to install that it's really easy and there's a few things you can use inside of it so from here, you can choose whichever one you want. I'm gonna just choose this, uh, whatever class. From here, under your escape key, press that button and it'll bring up your console. Backslash and go to bind, whatever key you would like, could be a number, could be a letter. B to no clip, or you can do um, bind whatever other letter to no clip too. This no clip kind of just lets you um, go through whatever. And then this no clip just puts away your gun, so it's a lot easier to be near the actor for the cinematic, but not be showing in it. So let's go over here, um, get to where we want for the cinematic, and then tab out the game. Open up this, go to this, wherever you put your actor console, just open it up. And then from here, you can close out of this, open up your precache, go to wherever your game is, and then go to your mods folder cinematic mod and then the precache is right there so from here create to set a new actor and then this will let you choose the body and or head you're using so let's say I want to use this body but this head so it'll let you have that but instead I'd rather use this head just choose it and it'll change it so it's really that easy um, now into like a weapon if you want to give them a weapon just give them an AK-47 and then to see your animations always changes just idle death never seems to really work for me like that so casual stand it's really so simple walk and then we have this also anytime you do get in the game just open up your console and to play it safe stop record just so it's not recording any demos automatically in the background um, just makes it easier on you to not have to get a cinematic done and then you'd never recorded it because it recorded the whole game's demo um, so from here let's just hop into no clip and then let's say we want to open up the console and then record um, oxy death and then from here just open up back up your actor console and then 
so now we have one of that and then let's say we want the uh walking one i'm gonna move the actor somewhere else just so he has more room to walk so let's say right here and you just move him over to where you're at um so from here um so you can do it through here or you can do it through the game's console it's just really up to you um let's say i want the keybind to be fucking the speed to be f five key to be zero just add that keybind and then um so it's automatically selected so now when you do this you press zero As you can see, he's just walking across, so it makes it a little bit easier. And also, let's say you mess up how fast he's walking. He's walking too slow or too fast. You can just backslash actor back. It brings him right back to the start. So if instead I wanted to have him walking like a little bit slower, just MVM. If you want to type it in the console, actor underscore walk actor one. Let's do six forward. So as you can see, that's what that one looks like too. Um, quite simple. So now since we got our whole cinematic, um, we could just stop record. But something to fuck with for fun. Let's move the actor over here again. Let's open this actor console real quick. What you can do is kind of just start going through this other stuff. Like you can give him any weapon you want. Let's say I want to tag a uh, shotgun to his back. You just now if we kind of just walk around. See, he has a spash 12 on the back, so it's low-key pretty cool. Go back over here, and uh, this is the walking stuff. Um, config, if you want to throw one on. Demos, see you already have this one. You have your sun controller, which is kind of fun. You can just enable the custom sun, and let's say you want to move it a little bit. Just for different kind of cinematic looks. Um, move it this way, move it like that so you can have it something more shadowed you can change the color of it so it's it's pretty cool um these kind of fuck up i don't it's still in beta so i don't really want to mess with it too much um but then you also have the bone cam which yeah it's kind of fun um let's see so this is actually a really cool thing that i i really need to use more um Obviously, it's a little bit buggy just because of, um, it's still in beta, but it's still, like, see, you'll get an, an error like this just because it's kind of how shit works, but it's obviously definitely a really cool thing, bro. It's definitely cool as a bitch. And once you're back into your game, what we're going to do is go back to Google, and we're going to download COD MVM. This is just stands for Call of Duty Movie Making. So once it downloads, once again, just drag it into your Modern Warfare 2. What I would prefer to do is just properties, compatibility, always run it as an administrator, just so make sure nothing fucks up. Just more info, run anyway. And then since you're on IW4, it'll let you do it. Um, just click load mod. So now before we finish anything else, go back into your game, right click, add a new folder, call it data, go inside of it, new folder, and call it AV demo. So this is your in-game recording, because um, if you don't want to use Fraps or OBS or Shadowplay to record your cinematics, this is a much better alternative way. It does take up a lot of space, but that's why we try and compress it at the end. So now once we're back inside the game and you have your COD MVM open, just open up your console, backslash demo, and I called it OxyDeath. So then just open it up. So once it pops up, if your console's still open, just press the key again, press pause, and then press your back arrow key, so it'll take you to what's happening. And then right now, you obviously can't move because you're stuck on the person's view. So press F2, get you out of that, now you're in free mode. So I'm gonna drop the FOV, actually I'm gonna bring it up. It is definitely not at 90, so I don't know what's up with that, but. I'm pretty sure it fucked up my FOV just because of um, the bone cam, but it's, it's all chill. So pretty much just gonna scrub through and find whenever it starts your actor. So we have this right here. So let's say I wanna get it when it starts, just back up and make sure 
kind of moving slow about it so you can see it starts about right here so get closer and then once you feel like you're around the time of it just drop your time scale all the way down to 0.1 wait for him to pop up and he's right there so you're kind of pretty much just like right at the start from here um angles uh it's kind of just a 50 50 thing whatever you think looks best like if you come up to this and you want a close-up angle that's always good i always say get more cinematics than you really need because you never know what you would like more or what you can use in an edit but like for this one i think looking back staying far back is a much better choice it's just how it looks um and before we go any further i'm gonna just do a quick reshade tutorial just so y'all can see it in game um and have a feel for it so if we go back over to the video um he has his reshade right at the bottom open that up and then it'll take you straight to the website once you get here just click download download reshade and once you open it up um it's like you just choose your game from the game directory i'm gonna just choose this and then from here just click next and then uncheck all check all next so once it finishes you'll be greeted with this screen just click finish and now you can just go back into your game folders on your desktop and then just open up the actors mod again so a lot of people will get this um there were errors and that's literally all fine um to quickly go through the tutorial just hit the home button on your keyboard and if you really want to read about this you can go ahead i'm um, just click skip tutorial and now you have a lot of things here to use um like for some reason i could just do a C crt screen um bloom obviously it gives it a little bit of brightness you can just fuck with stuff like this like it doesn't really matter you kind of just do what you want um doesn't really matter but I'll show you all a few things you can use to make it look better. Now that we're back in the game, I'm going to show you how the reshade works. Um, just go back to your mod for 2, open up the COD and VM, select the mod, IW4, and load mod once again. Backslash your demo, and then Oxy Death. Don't forget once you're in your game again, just pause it, press back, and we're just going to let this run through. I think I can remember what time it was at. Um, should be right around here. Yeah, cool. And then just here we go again. So now we have our person where he is. What we can add are a few things. So open up home. You have SMAA. So just throw that on. We will fuck with all these as it as we go on. So. FXA So bring active to top and then uh, Just kind of go one by one. So I guess So just throw on the SMAA. You don't even have to really mess with anything at all So now we're just gonna add MXAO. Um, it kind of just deepens the shadows just gives it more contrast to the person FXAA doesn't do too much, but I mean you can always use it if you need to Clarity, obviously you can tell what that does. Just kind of, once again, kind of gives you that contrast you need. Automatic depth of field. Um, this one's kind of finicky. It really kind of just depends on what your preferences are. I would not recommend enabling autofocus. And as you can see, it looks like absolute trash right now. So what I would recommend is go this 0.325. Give it some depth of field. Leave this as it is. 0.1. Oops. And see now we kind of have that and then lastly um this kind of for like dark areas and whatnot kind of just throw this on so you can always just adjust you know whatever it may be tint exposure contrast so on and so forth it's always good to have so just always bring the active to the top um so to record these cinematics you need to put down four camera points um to put them down just press k and as you can see um give me a camera point to delete them uh sadly it deletes all of them but to delete them you just press l and then to watch all of them after you've set down four of them, you press J. So let's say I want to start it right here. Um, once again, the angles, it kind of really doesn't matter. It's just kind of whatever it looks best to you. There's no real like recipe for this, but whatever you can think of that may look good, it could be good for you.
I kind of messed up and deleted my cinematic on accident. That's what kind of sucks. You can have a good number of points set, but if you accidentally press L, bro, you deleted that. So let's just kind of redo it again. Start from here. Just kind of tilt the angle a little bit. To tilt it, you just run your camera wheel up and down. Down pulls it to the left, up turns it to the right. Never know what could look good. So at this point, just press J because now you have your cinematic. As you can see, this is what it looks like. It's panning into him. And then, yeah, sometimes your camera can be finicky with how you place them. Just really all depends. But this is the uh, cinematic we got. And since we put that AV demo file, let's say we're recording inside the game. Open up your console, backslash, CL underscore AV demo, 600. Because it all depends on what FPS you want. So it can range from 0 to 1,000. Um, you could do 60, 120, 300, whatever it may be. I always stick with 600 just because I like how it feels. I can slow them down really well, but your file sizes will be bigger. So, so once you get to the end of it, you can do it before it stops or just whenever. Open up your console again, up on the arrow key, and then so it'll bring up the 600. Take it away, put that down to zero, and it'll stop recording it. So from there, we have all that. Um, just press L to delete them if you want to make more. But before you make any more, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Virtual Dub, the website, and we're going to download it. I already have it downloaded, and it's just right here. And then we're also going to download the Lagrith codec, which just helps make the file sizes smaller while keeping your quality pretty much just the same. Um, when you download it, it's just a bunch of clicking next, but it automatically uploads to your Virtual Dub. So from here, go into your game. And then we're going to go into our data, AV demo. And then as you can see, it says 2,183 items. These are all the frames of your recording. Drag the first one. And now you have your whole cinematic just sitting there. And then from here, video, frame rate, change frame rate to 600. And now we're going to convert it to 600. OK. And then just kind of check another thing just to make sure. Do whatever you need to from here. Open up a uh, video compression, Lagrith, okay. Knowing that you put all your settings on now, just press F7, or if you'd rather take the longer route on this, just save as AVI and then call it Oxy, Sin, Death. Usually I just give them names like Enemy Death, whatnot, shit like that. Just save it here and then highest. So once it's finished, you're fully done with your cinematic now. Let's say we want to make another. Go here and just file. And all you're going to do is close video file. Go back in here. Control A selects all of them. Delete because you don't need them anymore. Then we're just going to go back into our game. And since we've already deleted our keyframes. And then we're just going to play it out until it gets to the next one. You can kind of up the speed a little bit. So we can get to the running portion. So now that we found where he's uh, walking the cinematic, we kind of slow down because we know he's about to start moving him and just kind of wait. And what I do is I just sit here and I wait because once you see him kind of glitch forward, that's when you know he started walking. So right there, that's where it happened at. And now we can get the same cinematic, but since I already did one from the front, I'm not going to do another one from the front, but it is good. So start from the back and then K. Okay. He's walking forward. Just kind of tilt your screen and walk with him. Kind of just move around. It doesn't really matter what direction you move around in. Um, it can, but it kind of just depends how serious your project is or just be creative with it. So like sometimes I'll flip around to the front and then drop low. As long as you're low to the ground, your cinematics look a lot better. Just seriously come around in a circle right here. And then from the side, now we have our cinematic. Starts walking. Sometimes, like what I did when I flipped him around 180 degrees, that's kind of when the camera messes up. So like this part right here, it'll kind of mess up a little bit, but you can still make it look good. And then once you get here, same part. So we're back at the start of our cinematic. Pretty much just keep pressing J to get to the start of it like that 
and then we're just gonna do the same thing with recording it um, 600 start it let's say we want to stop it right there just open up your console do this backtrack it to zero again and then just pause it so now that you're here open up VW once again and you're at the start so just drag the first one in and since you close video file you don't have to go back through this because it's already there for you but if you close out of the whole program you will have to redo it again so F7 and then um, oxysyn walk highest so now that we're finished we have our cinematics done so honestly if you wanted to you could just delete all these again Then once you've deleted them, you can just truthfully close out of your game. There's nothing else we need to do unless you want to get more cinematics and whatnot. Um, I don't think there's anything I'm really missing about all this. Uh, change your FOV. It's kind of just backslash CG underscore FOV and let's say like 30 to zoom it all the way in. Um, you can drop it literally up to like 110. Gives you high FOV. You could do literally 160 if you felt like. Pretty much that's all I have for the tutorial, but um, if you need anything, I'll have my Discord linked in the description. Um, I'll have the SAS and Mod Discord linked in the description as well to ask anybody else if I'm not available, or just leave a comment and let me know if you have any problems with it. Um, I'm going to do the workflow tutorial tomorrow on how to sync these and color corrections and just how to edit them in general, to be honest. But um, yeah, uh, it's been Oxy. Peace.